and came in the Christie booth with Larry Paul from Christie. Well, Thanks well, for having us, sir. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Uh, so we're sort of kind of in, standing in front of at an angle. Okay. Uh, a couple of things, uh, but really we, we will talk about uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. But first we're going to talk about uh, the Mirage SST. Okay. Uh, explain this to folks because they're not familiar. Obviously, we're all familiar with Christie's processing and, and, and other um, right. you know graphical uh, engines. Right. What exactly is the SST? So the Mirage SST is a very flexible design system. So what it does, it maximizes your customer's ability to install the projectors in ways and places that you won't normally be able to put projectors. Okay. So the projector head itself is actually very small. It's very compact. That is a fiber coupled light that actually goes to a light source and there's a separate chiller. Those can be far away from the light, from the projector itself. So it keeps the projector head small and it's very func functional and flexible. So because it's Mirage, it means it's 120 hertz 4K capable. Yep. It's actually optionally up to 480 frames per second 2K. So it has a lot of high performance electronics and power. But what we've done is just removed the light from the projector head and remoted that to give flexibility. And that's really what the Mirage SSD platform is. Okay, a couple practical questions here. How long can we run that cable? So that cable comes standard as a 30 foot cable or a 10 meter cable. Okay. It can go up to 50 meters or 150 feet from the light source. And then the chiller itself can be another 100 feet or so away from that. Okay. So the light source is actually silent, and the projector is only 42 dB under most conditions. Okay. So it's very, very quiet. Yeah. And that allows you for a theme park or for projection mapping or for those type of applications or planetariums where you want to have quiet projector operation. You can place those projectors where you really want them to be, and it's all remote operation. So everything, all the other stuff is happening elsewhere, and the projector, the, the business end of the projector is off Optimally placed where the other equipment can be placed, where it's in an equipment room where the, for the chiller, they can be where the noise and the heat really are. Okay. The projector itself is very low BTU. It's under, it's like 2,700 BTU maximum, which means you can actually put it into a into a space without overheating that room. So it'll work in a conference room. It'll work in in planetariums where you're not adding a lot of heat into the room to make it uncomfortable. Yeah. So that's really the, the functionality of having this. The head itself runs on one 100 to 2. 240 volt, but it runs on a standard household outlet. Oh, wow, okay. So it runs on a single, you know, five amp circuit. It's yeah. not, it doesn't take a lot of power to run the head. So that's the advantage of that as well, is that you can put the, the head where it needs to be simple power, simple cable, simple electronics and signal. And you can see on the back of the unit, there's almost no cables. It, it, it's just, it's light and just a little bit of data cables for getting your signal into it. Yeah. And everything else is very simple. Okay. Uh, mounting options, you know, obviously we're used to, you know, more larger form factor, one sure. unit projectors. Right. What are what, some of the mounting uh, possibilities for this? So for the head, we have optional rails or we have, we have cages that it can work in. Uh, it has feet, of course, and you can place on the top or the bottom if you ever wanted to put it upside down. Okay. It mounts at any orientation, so it's designed to be, you know, portrait, landscape, or anywhere in between. And we have lots of different mounting plates and different options for that. The other equipment would typically go on a floor somewhere uh, or on a catwalk. Yep. That's typically how it's done. Makes sense. Uh, availability of the product? Uh, we've been shipping it actually since earlier this year. Okay. And it is a pure laser RGB system. It is not oh, a right. laser phosphor system. Okay. So you're getting that approaching Rec 2020 kind of color volume. It has that extra that extra richness that you can get from a laser RGB system, like our other like our other laser RGB projectors. Very different than laser projectors that are really laser phosphor projectors which have a place, but they're not the same color space and color volume that the laser, a pure laser RGB system can offer. Well, and that, that's an important differentiation. It's, right? a, it's a huge differentiation point. When you see the rich colors that this projector can really offer, you won't be able to really see that on your TV at home because you, your monitor is a Rec. 7 or 9 monitor. Yeah. So it just doesn't have the, it can't rep, reproduce those colors the way it really looks in real life. When you see that side by side, it's day and night. It really tries to replicate reality and in a very uh, a very accurate way. So that's the reason why the high frame rate as well, 120 hertz 4K is standard. And of course, it supports 60 and 30 and 24 and all the other formats. We have different color uh, presets. So if you're doing a, if you're working in a post house where you're trying to work on cinema color, you have a P3 setting. So you have different settings for different environments, but having the ability of, of really replicating 
a color that you don't normally get in your regular household environment. That's part of the, the story that our entire RGB line is really trying to tell, where we're trying to actually increase the quality to be able to give you an experience that's better than you have at your home experience, yeah. having a better better experience. And you can see more color, more, more interactivity, and higher frame rate allows for smoother uh, smoother motion of your content where it's like, wow, that looks much more realistic. It's more like we're having a conversation if only if you're projected on the screen. Oh, good lord. The, 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 <laughs> but the, the, the advantage of that, the details, you see all those kind of things that are just lost at low frame rates. Well, and you, you, you make a good point because so many times if you talk to theater owners or uh, entertainment venues, their biggest, cust their, their biggest competition right. are, are their customers' living rooms. That's right. Right? So giving these folks the opportunity and, and the capability to really kind of create a unique experience that they can't get in their home. That's correct. Yeah. And that's really what we try to enable with all of our customers. That's why we have our RGB line, because it really does enable new things. And the SST is just, the Mirage SST is just a platform that enables better flexibility for installations that really enable you to do things that may not be possible to do with other projector platforms. All right, Larry, if somebody's in Orlando and at Infocom uh, and they want to come by the booth, where's your booth number? Please come to booth 2543. That's the Christie Digital booth. We have uh, the Rode 4K45. Uh, we have the Mirage SSD. We have a whole slew, slew of things, including microtile LED. There's a lot of different products here. Really a lot, a lot to come and take a look at. Right, so if they're not here and they want to find out more about the SSD, I'll do that. Uh, go to ChristieDigital.com and all of our information is right on the web, and I, that's my recommendation. Very good, Larry from Christy Digital. My name is Tim Albright. For more information about us and more videos from the show floor of Infocom 2019, go by the website, avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.